All right, we're looking at mostly clear skies for Saturday, maybe a bit of clouds and rain overhead. Sunday is when we're getting that significant amount of, of clouds. There is going to be some wind when passing by us. Maybe can we move it to the wind setting, please? Please. So Saturday's wind seems to be staying in the southern southwestern area into early Sunday morning until a little later when the wind's going to start to head in the north direction and then shift towards the east in the afternoon. Looking into the humidity for the two days, we'll be receiving between relatively humid to very humid conditions, which could explain the varying sky covers throughout the weekend. And if we just zoom out on a to the United States itself, can you zoom out, please? He's okay. Thank you. Um, you can see we're in the middle of like two low pressure system. Systems. One is moving up towards Michigan, and one is out in the Atlantic Ocean. Now, now if we look at the pressure more carefully, fully, we can notice for early Saturday we're on the edge of a of a high pressure system that will drop into the early morning. And we'll begin to enter an area of lower pressure. <laughs> Look at the ISO lines and the humidity throughout the US. We can see the polar jet stream is giving us these conditions since it seems to have the cold water up in northern Canada far away from, from us. All right, can you move to the next slide, please? Here's what our week looks like. We seem to be staying between the low 40s and the mid 60s for the entire week. There is a chance of rain Sunday afternoon with going into Monday. Tuesday seems like the day things will clear, uh, clear up uh, before another rainfall on Wednesday and into the rest of the, the week.